Welcome back, friends. I'm Farron. It is so good to have you here and join me for another Bible video. Each week, we look at stories in the Bible that teaches us about God and His Word. Today, we're going to learn about Jesus and a time he got really angry. Get a comfy spot on the couch and let's get ready to explore together. We don't want to grow up. All right, y'all, have you been practicing your remember verse? I hope so, because we are going to test those memory skills today. On the next slide, you're going to see the remember verse with some words missing. Fill in the words based on what you remember before time is up. Okay, so how did you do? Well, keep practicing. We're going to be looking at this scripture for a couple of weeks. Let's say it together. Have you never heard? Have you never understood? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of all the earth. He never grows weak or weary. No one can measure the depths of his understanding. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 28. Last week, we looked at Jesus being tempted. We saw how he used scriptures to help him overcome temptation. We hope you've been able to use STOP to help when you're tempted. Remember, STOP is an acronym that means scripture, tell someone, obey, and pray. These four things will help you if and when you get tempted. Today's story will be a little different. We're going to see Jesus and how he responded when he felt people were being disrespectful to God. Our story can be found in John chapter 2, verses 13 through 22. Jesus traveled to Jerusalem because it was almost the time of year when the Jews celebrated the Passover feast. He went into the temple courtyard. There he saw people selling cattle, sheep, and doves to be offered as sacrifices in the temple. Other people sat at tables and exchanged different kinds of money. When he saw all of this, Jesus took some ropes and made a whip out of them. Then he drove the sheep and cattle out of the temple courtyard. He went to the tables of the money changers and scattered their coins all over the temple floor. Then Jesus turned their tables over. Take these away from here, he said to the people selling doves. You've turned my father's house into a market. Stop this. Then the disciples remembered that the scripture said, Love and passion for God's house will consume me. The Jewish leaders demanded, how will you prove to us that you have the authority to do all this? You can destroy this temple, Jesus replied, but I will raise it up in three days. The leaders replied, this temple took 46 years to build. How are you going to raise it back up in three days? But Jesus was not talking about the building. He was talking about his body. Later, after he had come back to life, his disciples remembered he had said this. Then they believed the scriptures and the things Jesus had said at the temple. Oh snap, that was intense. There are two things I wanna focus on. One is the reason Jesus got angry. And second is Jesus's prediction of his death. Both are super important to the story. Do you know why Jesus got so upset when he saw what was happening at the temple? We get a clue in his statement, you've turned my father's house into a market. Jesus was mad that the purpose of his father's house was turned into something else. 
It wasn't supposed to be a busy market with money handling. It was supposed to be a place where people could go and worship God. Jesus needed to show how serious he was. The next thing Jesus does is he gives us a little clue and hint about his death. Jesus' ministry was coming to an end and he was starting to give people clues that this was going to happen. He says he was going to rebuild the temple in three days, but he wasn't talking about a physical building. He was talking about his body. If you're confused, imagine his disciples. They had no idea, and I mean no idea, Jesus was going to die. We may not understand this passage right now, but I have a feeling we will in a couple of weeks when we celebrate a certain holiday. But let's save that for another day. For now, let's see how much of the story we've remembered. I'm going to ask you some questions about the Bible story and I will give you some time to answer them. Try and say the answer before I do. What were the Jews about to celebrate? The Passover, good job. What did Jesus make with ropes? Jesus made a whip. In how many days will Jesus raise this new temple? In three days. I wonder what that means. Now, let's listen to some songs and properly worship God the way he desires. Hey everyone, this song is called the B-I-B-L-E. Do you know what that spells? That's right, Bible. We're going to start with our hands together. We're gonna open our Bibles together and we're gonna stand on the Word of God. Now you try. The B-I-B-L-E Yes, that's the book for me I stand alone on the Word of God The B-I-B-L-E The B-I-B-L-E Yes, that's the book for me I stand alone on the Word of God, the B -I -B -E. Thanks so much for joining us today. Remember, every Sunday we have a brand new Bible video. Click subscribe so you always know when we have a new video. Bye!